Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. As a gun owner, a gun lover, a shooter, and also a firearm collector, there's always been three firearms that wanted uh, to be in my bucket list. Well, I didn't want them to be in my bucket list. I just <laughs> picked those guns and I said, hey, these are the guns that I would love to own one day. The first gun that I've always wanted to own, a H&K PSG-1. If you've ever priced an H&K PSG-1, uh, last time I priced one was like five years ago and the cheapest I could find one was like $15,000. So that's pretty much gonna be off my bucket list. The second gun that I've always wanted was a 1903 National Match. Just not a regular 1903 Springfield, but a National Match. The third gun, which I know it's kind of a long intro into it, is this guy. I have always wanted a Tommy gun. For some strange reason, the iconic Tommy gun has always been dear to my heart. I have shot a ton of them, but I now own one. Auto Ordnance was nice enough to send me this Tommy gun, and I will go over some of the features and some of the background on the Tommy gun. In 1918, John T. Thompson developed, as we know, the Tommy gun. Now, they didn't start going into production until about 1921. This is not an original Tommy gun, but this is a replica of the original Tommy gun, kind of. This is the civilian model, okay? So this firearm is semi-automatic, and it does not have a selector uh, switch, and the barrel is 16 and a half inches long. Uh, some of the original Tommy guns, depending on which configuration that you had, had uh, about a 12 or a 12 and a half inch barrel and a little bit shorter stock. But this is the civilian legal Tommy gun. The original Tommy gun had a rate of fire around 600 rounds per minute. And if you've ever heard one shot in full auto uh, mode, which I have shot them in full auto mode, it has a distinctive sound. It's tunk, 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 tunk. And you cannot mistake it for any other kind of machine gun. This gun is called many, many names. One of the most familiar names of this firearm is the Chicago typewriter. It's also been called the trench sweeper, the trench broom, Chicago style, and also the Chicago piano. I'm gonna tell you why the Tommy gun is so iconic, but before we do that, let's do some shooting. All right, I have a 20 round stick mag for the auto ordnance Tommy gun. Now the sights are pretty crude because this gun was pretty much uh, designed to be pointed and not aimed. And since it's dark in the woods, I can't really see. The top of it is actually notched out uh, where you can line your sights, but it's a little bit easier for me to get a good sight picture with the flip up sight. So I got some Federal Premium American Eagle 45 ACP ball ammo in here. So let's do some shooting. Go out at 75. Nailed it. There we go. Let's go out at 100. Got to aim a little high. Got to aim a little high. All right. So it runs. It runs great. Now let me give you a little bit more information on the iconic Tommy gun. The Tommy gun has been in so many motion pictures, it's not even funny. Even people that are not huge firearm people or really shot a firearm can look at a Tommy gun and say, hey, there's a Tommy gun. Um, movies from Scarface to one of my favorites, Captain America. Um, you know, it was in Home Alone, some people's favorite Christmas movie. Keep the change, you filthy animal. It has been in hundreds and hundreds of motion pictures. And here recently, the video game Fortnite, it's in Fortnite. Um, my daughter actually saw this in my gun room a couple of weeks ago, and she said, Dad, you have a Tommy gun. And my daughter really knows nothing about firearms, so, but she could spot the Tommy gun. It has been in dozens of different video games, hundreds of motion pictures, and is one of the most iconic firearms in American history. Now with the Tommy gun, like you saw before, it does come with a 20 round stick mag, but you can get a 50 round and also a 100 round drum magazine for the Tommy gun. The first thing that you may notice when you pick up the Tommy gun is the weight. This firearm weighs 13 pounds without a magazine in it. You put a 50 round drum full of 45 ACPs and you can easily be looking at 17 to 18 pounds. It is a handful to hold up. Not only has the Tommy gun been in 
tons of motion pictures and video games. It also has served the U.S. military very well. It has been in wars all the way from World War II to Korean and also the Vietnam War. Auto Ordnance is the original manufacturer of the Tommy gun. However, there have been several companies that also made the Tommy gun design, such as Savage and even Colt. Out of all the different companies that made the Tommy gun, there has been over 1.7 million Tommy guns produced. Auto Ordnance makes several different models for the Tommy gun. Eventually, I will SBR this firearm and have the 12 inch barrel and have it just like an original Tommy gun without the full auto feature. That's kind of a bummer. But this model is the 1927 A1. It has a 16 and a half inch barrel with a pinned compensator on the front. It does have a front sight and also an adjustable rear sight. It does operate on a blowback design and the bolt handle is notched out right in the center where you can actually line up your sights through the bolt handle. It comes with beautiful walnut furniture, sling mounts. Your safety is on the left-hand side so you can flip it back close to you for safe and forward to fire. The magazine release is on the left-hand side. You simply press it up and the magazine comes out. Also, the forward grip right here is made of walnut. It also has the very distinctive fin barrel. And there is virtually no recoil when shooting this firearm. Even though it's shooting a big old 45 ACP slug, this gun is so heavy and it's very easy to tame the recoil on the setup. Auto Ordnance makes several different variations, like I mentioned earlier in the video, of the Tommy gun. But they also make accessories. They were nice enough when they sent me this for a video to send me the violin case. Some people call it the guitar case, but um, it's commonly referred to as a violin case and a 50 round drum. Uh, due to YouTube's new terms and conditions, I'm not going to shoot the 50 round drum. I don't want to get any trouble, but let's finish this video out of shooting a Tommy gun, how it was actually designed to shoot from the hip and just pointed. Got a challenge target right there. Make sure my ears are in good. And here we go. <laughs> Boy, if this thing was full auto, oh my word. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Tommy gun. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Go over to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page and ask them there. And until next time, y'all be safe and keep on plinking and buy you a Tommy gun or anything else that's on your bucket list.